Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel, you guys. Happy Thursday, everybody, and welcome to day four of my calorie deficit challenge for 30 days, okay? We are officially on day four. I have been posting every day the check-ins. Y'all have been doing really well. Thank y'all for staying on track. Y'all been posting what y'all are eating. Y'all have some really good meal ideas. Everybody is staying within their calorie window. And thank y'all for being honest, because some of y'all put, I went over a little bit today. That's totally fine, you guys. You live, you learn, okay? Hey, just keep tracking keep pushing and you're gonna eventually learn as you go like how to portion yourself what to eat what not to eat things like that okay so y'all are doing really good thank y'all so much for staying on track so i came back from the gym earlier um i was just doing some things here at home i did a full body workout today I feel really good, okay? Before we get into this video, I just wanted to mention that this video is going to be a little bit different. These are not going to be keto approved foods. I am doing a low calorie day and it's more of like a high carb type of day. So um, y'all know in the past I was rotating my like higher carb days for my lower carb days and it did really well for me. But of course like life happened i keep like going in this little ferris wheel but lately i have been really on track i have been really in the gym i have been tracking my macros consistently and doing this challenge has been helping me a lot personally because i've been doing this for a long time and y'all know you can just get burnt out eventually right and i am really really trying to make progress i am not going to the gym for nothing i am not busting my butt in the gym for nothing so i am pushing this challenge and i am really wanting to make progress so i incorporated back my higher day car my higher carb days and my low carb days um so today we are doing a higher carb day i incorporate these i want to say i do half and half pretty much so i do I do four days of my keto and the other three days I do my higher carb days. So I kind of do half and half in a way. Um, and again, these are all healthy foods. I am not eating bad foods. Um, most of them are like, some of them are going to be keto approved, but I just incorporate those little higher carbs um, because honestly my body needs it. I have been really busting butt in the gym and I feel like for me to make progress and really build muscle like I need some higher carbs and I my body like craves it like I have been doing keto low carb for so long and sometimes like my body I can like it just craves a little bit of higher carbs so that's what we're going to be doing today I'm just letting y'all know ahead of time if y'all don't like this kind of video I'm sorry but this is my journey and I am going to incorporate those higher carb days but in a healthier way of course I am not going to be going out and eating bad foods like a cheeseburger and sweets and all kinds of stuff no these are all low calorie foods still but just a higher carb with high protein i'm going to try to aim for high protein so hopefully this gives y'all some ideas i know some of y'all are on that route as well i know some of y'all do the low calorie higher carb as well so hopefully hopefully this gives y'all some ideas i'm just in a different place in my journey you guys and i gotta make some changes and if i want to make the changes i gotta do what's best for me so just a little trigger warning if you are strictly keto then this video might not be for you but I still hope that you enjoy it and I still hope that you get some ideas for maybe future into your journey later on but again we're gonna go ahead and make some breakfast you guys I haven't had anything I've just been eating some uh dr eating some water drinking some water after my workout so we are going to be making some oats today so usually I do these overnight but today I wanted them warmed up so I'm gonna show you both ways because we're gonna make some um we're gonna make some and store them in the fridge. Oh my God, you guys, it's finally raining here in Houston. Yesterday it rained like super quick, but it's raining right now. My dogs are a little nervous, so they're all making their way this way. But we finally got some rain because it has been so dry, very dry and hot. Okay, so we're gonna be making some overnight oats, but I'm warming them up today and then I'm gonna put one in the fridge for overnight. So you can do it both ways, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what items are keto approved and which ones i'm going in for my higher carb days okay so we're gonna go in with some swerve brown sugar this is keto approved of course for our sweetener so swerve brown sugar keto approved you're gonna be going in with some unsweetened almond milk then um we're gonna be going in with some ground cinnamon a little bit of vanilla and then i like to just add ground cloves if you will like so these two items are going to be my higher carb ones which are not keto approved but we are going to go in with these road overnight oats by quaker oats 
Um, I really like these. These are really good. Okay. And then since we're making a peach cobbler, you can go in with fresh peaches. But when I went to my HEB, all the peaches were super hard. They weren't ready. So I went ahead and got a can, but I got it in the light syrup because it was less calories. Um, so we're going to be going in with this. A half a cup is only 60 calories. Okay. Well, I'm going to rinse them off a bit. I'm not going to go in with the syrup or anything, but yeah, so these are all our ingredients. Let's go ahead and get started. And as always, we are going to be tracking using car manager. So we are going to be tracking our macros today i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and i'm gonna start scanning everything in as i go keep the seasoning so first thing i'm gonna go ahead and scan in is my oats okay you can go in with whatever kind you like um i just like that they came out with these overnight ones okay so we're gonna go in with half a cup as our serving dry and that's going to be 150 calories, okay? So that's going to be for breakfast. It's going with half a cup. So I have two bowls right here because, like I said, I'm going to save one in the fridge. And then this one's going to be for today. Just for tomorrow. Usually, like, when I do my higher carb days, I kind of do uh, two, like, back-to-back -back because I can just make two of the same. And I can just eat the same meals tomorrow, if you know what I mean. Okay, so half a cup. We're going to add that in. Then we're also going to go in with half a cup of the almond milk. Okay, I went ahead and scanned all that in so far and this as well. But I'm going to go ahead and open up this can of sliced peaches and give it a good rinse. Guys, I almost forgot. We're going to be adding in some protein powder. Duh. I totally forgot about this ingredient. Okay, so you can go in with any kind of protein powder that you have or you like. Um, I'm going with this one that I've been using. I'm going to go in with one scoop and go ahead and add that. Duh. We need to add, <laughs> we need to get our protein in. So we're going to add a scoop on top. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and give this a good mix so the protein powder can get in there. Okay, I added just a splash more of almond milk. So maybe go in with a little bit more of half a cup. I went ahead and scanned it in, but if you do add the protein powder, it's going to thicken it up a bit. So you want to go in with just a little bit more. Okay, I rinsed my peaches, but I'm going to go ahead and add in my swerve. Went ahead and searched up my swerve. I'm just going in with one tablespoon. It's just going to add that sweetness to it. You can go in with whatever kind of sweetener that is in low calorie low sugar i recommend that highly i do not recommend to go in with um regular sugar especially if you're trying to eat healthy but swerve is a really good brown it's probably one of my favorite ones okay, i went ahead and rinsed my peaches i just didn't want all that syrup and half a cup is a serving size so we're gonna go in half a cup we're gonna add a splash of vanilla oh i should have added this earlier Okay, and then you can add whatever you like, but I'm going in with some ground cinnamon. And then I like to just add a little ground cloves. Okay, so this one right here is going in the fridge. I'm going to leave it overnight. I'll warm it up in the morning. That'll be for my breakfast tomorrow. This one right now, we are going to go ahead and pop in the microwave for two minutes. Okay, I went ahead and microwaved my oats. I'm gonna go ahead and give everything a good mix. It smells so good. You just want them softened, of course, okay? And that's it. This is going to be our breakfast. I'm gonna let it cool down a bit. So you can either have these cold or hot. I'll have them hot today, and honestly, I'll probably have them cold tomorrow because I like them both ways. It just depends, like, what I mix into them. But you can have them, have them hot or cold. Okay, so with this, I'm gonna tell you all the macros for my breakfast. We are going to be getting in... 30 grams of protein, 5 fat, and 348 calories. So less than 500 calories for this breakfast. I will be snacking later on. Um, and yeah, we'll be back later for some more meals. But like I said, I'm just incorporating some higher carb days three times a week, four times a week. I will be strictly keto, lower carb. It's just, I feel like what works for me and my body. And I don't know, like I've just been like super nervous to really incorporate these days into my videos because 
My name is Keto with Sammy and I have been keto throughout my whole journey. But eventually you have to get to that point where you got to make changes for yourself if you really, really want to keep pushing and making progress. And I don't know, I guess I was just nervous as to like y'all not wanting to watch my videos if I wasn't like strictly keto. But like I said, I have to do what works for me and I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are in the same place as well. Eventually you just get to that point where you stop making progress and you have to change things up Especially if you are in the gym and lifting weights like I need to change things up and I need to be consistent and I need to stick with it Like I have been telling myself this you guys like I'm human. I'm only human like I'm learning as well I have taken y'all along my journey and I have helped so many of y'all and that makes me so happy And I have made so much progress myself, but if I want to keep continuing making progress I got to make some changes and they are going to be healthy changes like I'm not eating anything bad. So I really hope that some of y'all take some of these recipes and can, can incorporate them into your journey eventually. But again, I will still be having my keto low carb days and y'all will still see being um, me putting out recipes that are keto approved. I would just let y'all know what is it and what is. But yeah, I just need to do this for myself and I have to keep on pushing and I really hope y'all stick with me throughout this journey because I mentioned before that I was doing higher carb days and I just fell off track and I just been all over the place these past I feel like this past year has been really difficult for me. I don't know why it just has. Um, and I'm just in that mindset where I just, I need a push, right? And this challenge is going to help me so much. Like I have been doing these challenges for y'all for so long and it's been helping y'all and I'm so glad, but I need this challenge. <laughs> like this challenge is going to help me. Like I have to make these changes. So this next, next couple months, I promise you I'm going to make some really good progress. I'm going to push myself. I've been taking little videos so I can see like my progress. Cause like I said, I haven't really been concentrating on the scale. My scale went up a little bit, but my, my muscle mass is the highest that it's ever been. And I'm so happy about that. Okay, I will update y'all. I will update y'all at the end of the week. Um, probably like I'll I'll try to update y'all every couple of days while we do this challenge as to as like how my progress is going because that's what I want along this challenge. Make sure y'all take before and after pictures, you guys. So a lot of y'all are just doing keto low calorie, and that's awesome. Do what works for you. That's why I said I didn't want to stick with just one diet throughout this challenge. Like a lot of y'all follow me. Um, and y'all do different things like everybody some of them do keto some of them do low calorie some of y'all do or concentrating on high protein like it just depends That's why I didn't want to just be like oh only strictly keto low calorie Like I didn't want to do that as long as you are in a calorie deficit and you're tracking your macros and you're staying within your calorie window That's all I asked for throughout this challenge Okay, again, if y'all ever do need help with finding your calorie deficit I've had a lot of y'all message me and I've got back to most of y'all have a few messages But if you need help finding your calorie deficit for your own body go ahead and message me you guys i have it on my facebook page you can message me on there on my instagram page it's linked in the description below if you don't have social media you can also email me if you would want to but i can find i can help you find your calorie deficit because everybody is different if you do message me i need your age your weight your height and how many days you work out if you do work out those are the details that i need if you want me to find your calorie deficit like i said everybody has a different calorie deficit nobody is eating the same okay it all depends on how many days you work out it all depends on how much you weigh how tall you are all of that matters so everybody's different I get a lot of y'all ask what my calorie deficit a day is and it's 1522 so that is the window I'm sticking with but let's go ahead and give these a try I haven't had overnight oats in a while mm. I haven't had peaches in a while <laughs> this is so good mmm it's like a hot peach cobbler. <laughs> it's so good. If y'all happen to make this, let me know what y'all think, you guys. But I'm going to go ahead, sit down, and enjoy my first breakfast. And we'll be back later on. All right, guys. So earlier, we had our overnight oats. I was kind of like, okay, it's like I was going to go to the park today, but then it started raining. And it's just like a little day in today. My husband is actually gone. He's doing testing for work. My kids are at school. So i just been taking a little moment for myself here at home. I've been doing laundry, washing my dog's beds, cleaning restrooms, like, you know, mom stuff. Okay, so a little day at home. But I'm about to go pick up my boys from school shortly. And if you notice, I've been eating a little bit more. Now that I have been working out in the gym, I'm trying to incorporate a little bit more smaller meals or like a little bit more snacks. Because when I was doing keto, 
I would never eat, I would never like not eat, but I would only eat twice a day, once a day. I would hardly ever snack. Trying to stay under my 20 net carbs, wasn't really trying to aim for high protein or really paying attention to my calories as long as I was under 20 net carbs, getting in my fat and things like that, which are keto, you know what I mean? Um, and now that I'm doing high protein and actually staying in my calorie deficit, I'm trying to eat a little bit more, incorporate a little bit more snacks here and there, and just at least eat about every three hours if I can. So we had our overnight oats. Now it's time for a little midday snack. And then of course I'm going to have my coffee. So this snack is actually keto approved. I got this out of my keto crate. If you don't know what keto crate is, you guys, it is a monthly subscription that is sent straight to your door each month full of keto approved snacks. So this one is keto approved. Like I said, I incorporate a lot of keto products, but also higher carb products throughout, throughout this day. And if you would like to order keto crate, I do have a discount code keto Sammy at checkout to receive $10 off your first box. So I absolutely love keto crate. I keep a lot of their snacks on hand. I just have them in my pantry and when I want a quick snack, I just grab it and head off the door. So today we are going to be having this one. This one is by Raw Rev. It's their peanut butter, dark chocolate, and sea salt. I specifically grabbed it because it has 12 grams of protein. I'm trying to get in more protein throughout my day, and this was the highest protein bar that I had in my pantry. 210 calories, okay? And they will always be five net carbs and under with Keto Crate. So this one is nine. How much is this one? Let me do subtraction. I think it's about five net carbs. It's not showing because it's not showing the total sugar alcohols in here, but it has to be under five net carbs somewhere around there. Anyways, we'll scan it in and see what it pops up. But it's by Re Raw Rev and it is just going to be a little protein bar that I'm going to be snacking on here in a second. Let me just go ahead and scan it in. So when you go to Carb Manager, they give you the options to add in snacks too. So like you can put snack one, snack two, just so you're on track. I like to keep everything organized, like what I had for breakfast, if I had breakfast and lunch. I'm actually going to be having a small lunch when I come back from picking up my boys. We're gonna get in that and then we'll have dinner. Okay, we still got room for our calories, of course, and things like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and go add snack one. We're gonna go ahead and scan in this bar. That's what I love about Car Manager. I can just scan everything in and it just automatically pops up. You want to make sure everything is on track with the calories. See, this is a little off. Oh, that's why. Okay, this, so this is popping up wrong. I don't know. I'm just going to manually input it. So say it doesn't pop up, which hardly ever happens, but this one's not pop it, popping up. You can do a quick entry. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, enter the macros by myself. So you can put the name, then you can put how many calories it is. So we're going to go to 10, total carbs, and things like that, okay? And then you can just go ahead and click save. And that is going to be our snack one, okay? So I have that inputted. And then for my coffee, if y'all been following me, y'all know I've been going in with some almond milk and incorporating this little coffee. This is just gonna be a regular coffee. I don't, I'm not incorporating a protein shake today or anything like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and scan this in. This doesn't have much calories, but it does have a little bit of calories for our almond milk. So we'll go ahead and add that. So almond milk, I got some ice right here. We're going to go in with the cup. And then this is just some cold brew concentrate in the vanilla flavor. It is by Lucky Jack and it's only 15 calories a serving. And this is just my coffee that I add. Then I need more. This coffee is so good. Y'all know I was like ride or die for like the Starbucks, but this right here, like the flavor of the coffee, the smell of it, it's just so good. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little sugar-free vanilla just for a little sweetness, zero calories. And of course, this is my midday coffee that I always have to have. I'm a coffee-holic. I was actually thinking about making, I, I've been wanting to make some matcha lately because I like matcha and I might make that, but I think you have to have like a little specific whisk. I don't know. I'm going to need to look into it, but I really want to make some matcha because I really like that. So let me know if y'all want to see that. Mm. Okay. So we have that all added. So far for the day, we're at 588 calories and 43 grams of protein. 
I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and enjoy this bar. While I enjoy this, I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all how to find y'all's calorie deficit on my computer because I keep getting questions asked that y'all don't know if y'all are calculating right. And I try to explain to y'all, but I know it can be a little difficult. So hopefully y'all watch this video and y'all could see how I find my calorie deficit. Okay, so I showed this the last time in my other video, but let me just show y'all again. So you're gonna go to a TDEE calculator. This is a page it's gonna put pull up so you're gonna put male if you're a male or female I'm just gonna put some examples in. I'm gonna go with male you're gonna put your age and put my age you're gonna put your weight then you're going to put your uh, your height and then this is where you're gonna put if you exercise or not so they have an option where you don't exercise they have light exercise one to two days a week moderate heavy and then you're gonna do athlete like two times a day um, I'm gonna go moderate since I do five days a week and then this is optional it doesn't you don't have to have this but it is good if you do my scale actually keeps track of this so you can find a scale um, like on Amazon that keeps track of your body fat, fat percentage if you would like that but it's not um, needed and then you're just going to click calculate and then this is where it's going to bring up everything okay it's going to look like a lot I know it's going to look confusing but you're going to go ahead and go to the bottom so since we are so these are your maintenance calories so this is where if you don't want to lose weight you want to stay the same weight these are what you're going to have this is for moderate carb lower carb and higher carb and these are going to be your macros intake so 152 grams of protein 78 grams of fat 177 um, grams of carbs this is where you're going to stay if you want to maintain and right here it says your maintenance calories are 2225 okay those are your maintenance calories but what we're doing if you still want to lose weight i go to cutting okay so right here what it does it subtracts 500 calories a day from your maintenance calories so then you get 1525 calories and then it just depends on your protein intake and your fat and your carbs if you're doing moderate carb lower carb or higher carb so this is for weight loss you want to go to that option where it says cutting this right here is for bulking if you were like wanting to gain so much um muscle and things like that that's going to be bulking that's going to add 500 calories a day if you're going to be eating a lot okay so that's for bulking but right now we're doing cutting so you want to make sure you hit that tab and then right here these are going to be your maintenance calories this is what you want to have every single day okay you're going to subtract that i mean your maintenance that's going to be your cutting calories i'm so sorry this is your cutting calories this is what you want to have every single day you're going to subtract that from your maintenance calories okay so make sure you have this this, this is going to be for the challenge and what you want to aim for every single day and stay in that window all right guys we are back for dinner so i was gonna make a lunch but it started raining super hard here and our electricity went out the power went out it kept flipping on and off the kids were freaking out the dogs were freaking out it was just chaotic so i didn't get to make a lunch but we're gonna go ahead and have a bigger dinner um and i'm going to go in with some protein pasta we're gonna be making a chicken protein pasta i'm literally using everything i have here on hand at home i didn't go to the grocery store today Today, so I was like what can I whip up okay sometimes I plan uh, most of the time I plan all my meals but there's those days where I'm like what can I use here at home let's just throw something together usually most of the time I can so we're going to be making a chicken protein pasta and I'm probably gonna have a Caesar salad on the side so let's get started okay so I already started boiling my water but this is the protein pasta that we're going to go in with so a few videos back y'all saw me make a red sauce mixed with cottage cheese and I poured it over some keto approved noodles so you can definitely substitute out the noodles if you are doing strictly keto everything else will be keto approved but the only carb up higher carb pasta that we are going in with is this one this one is really good I actually really like this brand the other brand I forget the name of it but it's made with chickpea that one's really good the texture is just a little bit different this one tastes exactly like regular pasta so we're gonna go ahead and going in with this one they have different like types they have the spaghetti penne they have the little bow tie ones too but we're gonna be going in with the penne that's what I have on hand so let's go ahead and start scanning everything in going back to my card manager um, I don't know how many servings. I know I need to get more protein in since we did skip lunch. So maybe I'll have two servings, which will be four ounces. We'll see on the calorie wise because I don't want to go over my calories. I'm going to go ahead and scan in the barcode. I'm hungry already. Oh my God, why isn't this popping up? Okay, I got it. I kept doing it upside down. Okay, so... Yeah, we're probably going to go in with four ounces, which would be 20 grams of protein, 380 calories. And I think we have room for our calorie intake. We do. Okay, so we're going to do that. 
Okay, so I'll put us at 63 grams of protein. So I'm gonna let my water get to a boil and then we'll put this in. Then I literally had this chicken defrosted in the fridge. It is just some seasoned chicken and it's just seasoned like from H-E-B and it's super good. So we're gonna go in with some of that. Then I have some leftover pasta sauce that we're gonna go in with. This one is keto approved as well. This is a no sugar added red sauce. This is one of my favorite ones that's very affordable. Then what I do to add more protein to my dish is I go in with some cottage cheese. What I do is I mix this with the red sauce and it gets it nice and creamy instead of going in with heavy cream Which would just add more calories and higher fat. We're gonna be going in with some cottage cheese So I'm gonna go ahead and scan this in I'm gonna scan in my chicken, but we're gonna weigh that out first Okay, so how many how much is the serving size? Um, half a cup is the serving size for 12 grams of protein so we're gonna go ahead and add that and everything is right so so far that's what we have we're gonna add some low-fat cheese here in a second but my water is already boiling for my pasta so we're gonna go ahead and weigh out two servings tonight and that's gonna get me nice and full and that's gonna up my protein a little bit because since we skipped lunch today all right i have my scale and a serving size is two ounces so we're gonna go in with four ounces oh that's in grams Okay. I don't know, if we go in with quite a bit of pasta, we might just get the salad. Honestly, the salad's not adding any extra protein. It was just something that I had on the side, but we'll probably just go in with a big bowl of protein pasta. Okay, four ounces exactly. We're gonna go ahead and put this into our water. I just dropped my pasta everywhere. All right, we got that in. We're gonna go ahead and let this cook and then we're gonna start on the chicken. So it's just some thinly sliced chicken breast. I cook it first and then I weigh it out at the end to see how many ounces of chicken we got. We're gonna get our pan nice and hot. You wanna save some calories, go in with some olive oil spray or avocado oil spray that is zero calories. Okay, we're gonna go in with thin, two thinly sliced chicken breasts. They're pretty big. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that cook through and then we'll flip it here in a second. In the meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and blend up our sauce into my blender. Okay, so I kinda edited and played around my macro. Since we are going with two servings of pasta, we're gonna double the serving sizes and this just adds more protein, of course. So we're gonna go in with one cup of our red sauce. So you want equal parts of cottage cheese, equal parts of your sauce. I promise you when you add cottage cheese to your sauce like it does not taste bad you will not taste it it tastes really good it gets it nice and creamy I used to be scared of cottage cheese but I really love it in my sauce okay, so we're gonna go in with a cup of this this is half a cup then you can just season with whatever you like we're gonna go in with a little garlic salt some onion powder a little oregano and then a little basil then you're gonna go ahead and blend this until it's nice and smooth blended and nice and smooth we're just going to go ahead and leave this off to the side for right now i want to add a little veggies to my pasta so before my pasta finishes boiling i'm actually going to boil some of this broccoli at the same time with the pasta so it could cook I'm just gonna go in with about a cup of broccoli just so we can get some veggies in and it's not just protein protein for dinner instead of the Caesar salad we'll just go in with some broccoli and I like to just add it in with the pasta and it'll boil together okay my chicken is done I'm gonna go ahead and just let it cool off before we weigh it and look who it is always waiting for the food to fall my jiggy jank hi jiggy jank hi jiggy jank are you ready for some chicken a little tappy tap. Okay, my pasta and broccoli is done. I don't want to overcook my broccoli. I hate it when it's soggy, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. Okay, while everything is still hot, this is when you want to put in your pasta sauce. I learned that you don't want to boil your pasta sauce because the cheese, the what are they called? The cheese curds will curdle, if you know what I mean. So I learned to just put it in with the hot pasta and fold it that way. Doesn't that look so creamy and so good? I'm just gonna go ahead and toss everything together. 
This was two servings and like it looks like a good amount, but it doesn't look like an overly amount. Mm -hmm. I can definitely sit down and eat all this. <laughs> Don't judge me, I'm hungry, okay? It's in our calories. All right, now let's see how much chicken we're going in with. So you just get it zeroed out and we're gonna add our chicken breasts. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up after. We are going in with eight ounces of chicken. Let's go ahead and slice this up. And then we're gonna serve it on top of our pasta. I'm not gonna add any cheese because we are exactly hitting our macros today. Since I doubled my dinner, I got in my protein go of what I wanted to aim for. And I don't need the extra cheese anyways. <laughs> it's just a want. I'm gonna serve up the pasta first. Oh, look at that, that looks so good. We're just gonna top it off with some chicken. When you use chicken breast, like with trying to get more protein in and less calories, it's just leaner as in going in with chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are more fattier. And then the only thing I love to add to my pasta is some red chili flakes. I add this to like all my pastas. And dinner is served. Let's go ahead and dig in. And the drink I'm going in with today for dinner is this Supernatural Natural Soda Lemon Lime flavor. Zero calories, zero carbs, zero all across the board. I get these in my keto crate. And this is just gonna be something different to drink with dinner besides the water that I've been having all day. So definitely give these a try. If you are a big soda drinker, they have really, really nice flavoring to them. They have like all kinds of different flavors of Dr. Pepper kind, the Sprite kind, Coke kind, like all kinds of different flavors. They are just like carbonated water and they're sweetened with the erythritol. These are really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that for dinner. And I will tell you all my macros here in a minute. Let's go ahead and just dig in and give this a try because I'm starving since I skipped lunch. You guys, I cannot, like I cannot do one meal a day anymore. Like I have to eat, like my body, like it needs food. Mm. Whoa, so good. Mm. If y'all try this protein pasta with this cottage cheese sauce, let me know what y'all think. It hits all the spots. If you are a pasta lover like I am, this is a great way to stay low calorie and get your protein in without the gill. It's so good. I'm gonna go ahead, sit down, enjoy my dinner, and we'll be back for the end of my day macros. All right, guys, I ate dinner. It was so good, but I couldn't finish all of it. So I finished most of it, but I kind of uh tweaked my macros just a little bit so i ate about three ounces of the pasta and i ate about seven ounces of chicken breast so i kind of tweak my macros a bit usually when i don't finish it i have to play around with it just a little bit you know because sometimes i go in thinking i could totally eat all of this and i'm so hungry and then sometimes i just can't sometimes okay but it was so good definitely hit the spot um i actually did hit around my protein and what i wanted to anyways regardless if i didn't finish it all or not and we stayed in our calorie deficit window so for the my end of the day macros you guys i got like who we we like we good right now we full okay <laughs> Sometimes I go in with a high protein dessert if I have room, but usually with these high protein pastas, like they are so filling, okay? So my protein go daily is 152 grams of protein and we got 133 grams of protein, which I'm super proud of. We did awesome. Again, if we had room, we'd probably go in with a high protein dessert. I just don't have room in my stomach right now and I'm not gonna eat if I'm not hungry anymore, okay? We keep it our fat low with our high protein, high carb days. Most of the time I have been keeping my fat low, when I first went into keto, it was a lot of high fat. Now that I have been keto um, for this long, I really don't concentrate on aiming for high fat as much. So we got 28 grams of uh, fat in. And then my calorie goal to not go over is 1,522 calories daily. And we got 1,294 calories in today, okay? So we did really good today. Those are my macros for the end of the day. I am about to post a check-in, so don't forget to check in every single day for the challenge on my Facebook page and YouTube community section, you guys. Uh, make sure y'all go check in. Thank y'all for staying on track, and I really hope y'all enjoy 
enjoyed today's recipes. You'll be seeing more of these days as well as my all keto days. Remember, I will be incorporating low carb days and high carb days. I just, this is just what I gotta do for myself and I know I'm gonna make progress. So I'm gonna keep on pushing and y'all will see that. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, if you would like to see more awesome recipes and I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, no.